Hi brothers and sisters, I'm Anya and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel comes from the gospel of Mark chapter 2 verses 13 to 17. And here Jesus calls Matthew to follow him. So for our reflection today, I'd like us to focus on two words. The first word is follow, pretty obvious. And in our gospel today, Matthew is seen sitting in the customs post and then all of a sudden, Jesus passes by and there's this large crowd following him. Jesus sees Matthew sitting there and just calls him and says, follow me. And Matthew gets up, leaves his job right then and there and follows Jesus. Now, Matthew's job as a tax collector is seen as a sin. And this is because tax collectors during that time were seen as a symbol of the oppression of the Romans. They were a literal physical symbol because you could see the tax collector sitting there in a customs post. And it was just a reminder to the Jews that these tax collectors were working for the Romans. They were getting rich also from the money of the Jews, money of their own people. So the Jews saw it as a betrayal uh, to their own people. So that's how tax collectors were viewed. They really viewed as sinners. And I'd like to think that Matthew actually knew and understand that he knew why he was being despised by his own people. He knew why he was viewed as a sinner. And I'd like to think that he'd want to actually turn away from it or he'd want to stop sinning, but it became his life. It was his job to sin. So have you ever felt that or have you ever experienced that where you know you are sinning and you want to step away from it but you just can't or you've been so consumed by it already and I'd like to think that Matthew was that way too and in the gospel Jesus just calls Matthew and say and said follow me and Jesus probably knew that Matthew was also aware of his own sin Matthew was also probably just waiting for an opportunity to turn away from his sin, to turn away from this life that he has led. And Jesus gave him that opportunity by calling him. And he did not only give him the opportunity to leave and turn away from his sin, but he gave him the reason to. Jesus himself was the reason for Matthew to turn away from his sin. Jesus himself is our reason too, brothers and sisters, to turn away from our sin. And so that's my first word for us today, follow. If you're having trouble with sin, focus on following Jesus. Now, second word is welcome. Later on in our gospel today, we see that after Matthew follows Jesus, they're celebrating with other sinners and with Jesus inside Matthew's house. Matthew welcomes Jesus into his home. And this is just such a great symbol of how Matthew not only follows Jesus, but he welcomes Jesus into his life. And this is such an important act because this mere act of welcoming Jesus, inviting Jesus into his home, just led to such a great transformation of Matthew's life. He ended up being one of Jesus' 12 apostles and he became a great missionary and is a saint today. So this mere act of welcoming Jesus into our lives can transform us. And so today, brothers and sisters, I just like to share to you and remind you that we can follow Christ and we can welcome him into our lives because he can help us turn away from our sin and lead us to such great transformation and transform us into something that we can't even imagine imagine ourselves. And so if you've been blessed by this short reflection, remember to like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, I'm Anya. Thank you, brothers and sisters, and God bless you.